Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. And today I'm going to be reviewing these six GI Joe figures that are currently available in Dollar Tree stores in the US. Now these are made by a company called Prexio, and yes, they are on sale for a dollar. Now you might recognise that name because recently I've reviewed the Transformers that are on sale in the UK in the Poundland stores, and they are made by the same company. Now the interesting thing about these is is that the UK and US versions of the Transformers were actually different figures and sold in different packagings. And the UK versions of the Transformers came carded like this, and that's exactly what they've done with these G.I. Joe figures. Uh, they are exactly the same size cards. You can see they're almost a perfect match, and they have the same sort of information on them. So on the back it just says collect all six, and not much other information apart from the company name there. That is uh, Prexio. Now in the US the Transformers that were released there were, came in small little bags, and the figures themselves are actually much smaller. And I'm guessing that's because they thought that the G.I. Joe toy line was probably a better seller there, so they've given them the better quality figures. Whether we ever get these in the UK, I very much doubt it because I don't think G.I. Joe has the same pull that Transformers does here to the UK audience. So I think these could well be a US only release and they're really quite nice. So let's take a closer look at the cards and then we'll open them up and see what the figures look like loose. So here are the six figures and much like the Transformers we get three good guys and three bad guys. So on the top row we have Duke, Snake Eyes and Roadblock and on the bottom we have Destro, Red Ninja and Cobra Commander. As you can see the packaging is slightly different for the two so the uh, G.I. Joes have a blue bit of packaging there and the evil uh, Cobra guys have uh, the Cobra logo in the background with a slightly different graphic in the corner showing the uh, characters that you can get. Uh, there's not a lot of other information on the cards. It doesn't really tell you what the the six are you can collect. You can sort of work it out from the little image that's at the bottom here that there are those are the three uh, sort of uh, baddies but on the back there's not a great deal of information. Uh, the cards though are really quite nice. I like the fact these are on cards rather than in baggies. I think the UK versions of the Transformers look much better than the baggy versions of the American ones so I think it's nice to actually have these as well all carded. As you can see the figures look really quite detailed. You can, it's hard to see them through this packaging because it's ever so shiny but there's quite a lot of sculpting going on there, a lot of sort of fine detail. The paint scheme, same as with the Transformers, is fairly limited. You can see that uh, Duke's eyes and eyebrows are painted but not really that well. I actually think that looking at these in the packet, the ones that don't have human faces, so people like uh, Cobra Commander, actually look the best because they don't have to have such sort of fine detailing on them. Actually, if we look at Red Ninja, that's a pretty nice one. He's just got little white dots for his eyes. Everything else is quite sort of plain. I think that probably works the best. But really, the only way to uh, see what these look like properly is to take them off the card. So let's open these all up and we'll see what the figures look like loose. And then we can actually compare them to some of the Transformers as well and see how well they stand up side by side. Out of the packet they don't look too bad at all. If we just take a look at Destro you can see there is quite a lot of uh, sculpting going on there and detail and I think he uh, overall looks really quite nice. He's even got uh, grips on the bottom of his shoes there. Now the figures are completely non-posable so they are just one solid piece of plastic. Uh, this guy's got very limited uh, paint scheme on him, just a little bit of grey on his face and on his sort of gauntlets there. Then if we look at uh, Red Ninja, again it's not a bad figure. The uh, detailing is really quite fine. He's got a little bit more sort of paint on him, he's got some little uh, white eyes painted on there and some on his belt. I would say are these bits stuck on? No, I think this is all sculpted out of one piece doesn't look like um, that has been stuck on at all. Maybe it has. It really is just a, a one sort of solid figure. You can't pose it at all. These are really, you know, not, I guess, not really designed to be played with that much, but I think the overall detailing of them is pretty good. Then we have uh, Cobra Commander. Again, not much to sort of going on as far as the paint scheme goes, but he does have a sword on the side there and a little bit of uh, paint on his face and some gold detailing and grey boots and gloves. 
then we've got Roadblock. I think that's probably my favourite of the good guys, just because of uh, the amount of um, sort of sculpting going on and detailing. He's got really quite sort of muscly arms and gloves, a nice sort of detailing on his trousers there, lots of little pockets and bits. Then we've got Snake Eyes, again very limited on the paint scheme on this one, mainly black, but then that's what the figure is like originally. He's got uh, an extra backpack added on there just to uh, give him a little bit more sort of uh, weight on the top, but they all stand up really well. You can see I've not had any trouble standing these figures up. And then finally we have Duke. Uh, this one I think has probably the worst paint scheme just because they've tried to paint his eyes. So you get these funny little dots where his eyes are. Um, might have even been better not to bother just to sort of leave that all as a flesh tone. Again, he's got a sort of backpack added on the back and uh, yeah, the detailing is really quite nice. I do think these figures look very good. Whether they're as good as the Transformers, I'm gonna say I don't think they are. The Transformers figures, just look fantastic. You can see here I'll bring in a couple. I'll bring in a couple of my favourites. So we've got uh, Grimlock here and Soundwave. These I think just work better as small sort of non-posable figures. They feel a bit chunkier and they feel a bit more like things I'd want to play with. I think these maybe it's because of their posing. They're all sort of very rigid and all standing up straight. Maybe they don't sort of have that same I don't know because you know these guys are in exactly the same sort of thing. They're just posed you know standing up straight but because of the fact they are transformers and they're all quite chunky with their feet and I think I would probably prefer to play with these than I would do with the GI Joes. That's not to say they're bad figures it's just the sort of thing that uh, would catch my eye but as you can see you can actually pose them with the uh, UK versions of uh, their figures because they're about the same size. They are pretty much uh, yeah pretty much the same size. So if you've uh, got the US versions I think Megatron looks a little bit tiny, but if you've got the UK versions, you can see he's a much chunkier figure. Whether these actually see a release in the UK, uh, I would sort of have to say I doubt it, just because the GI Joe doesn't have the same sort of pull that uh, the Transformers license does. But you never know, as these are only sort of sold for a pound, it might be that they just bring them in anyway and stick them in uh, the Poundland shops that we have here. I think we'll just have to uh, wait and see on that. But uh, if you like GI Joe, then I would suggest getting in touch with someone in the US who can maybe track them down for you, because they're certainly nice little figures and a, a unique thing to have in your collection. If you want to keep them on the cards, the cards do look very nice. You know, there's a, a good way of displaying them, but I like to always open the toys that I get sent so uh, you can actually have a proper look at them and see what they're like. And I think overall, for a pound, you wouldn't be disappointed, or for a dollar as it is in the States, for a dollar you wouldn't be disappointed in getting these. They're certainly nice little figures and they certainly would display quite nicely with the rest of your G.I. Joe collection. Now I do need to say a massive thank you to uh, Richard Fichette for very kindly sending these over to me. He saw my review of the Transformers and thought I would uh, like to have these as well, so he, he grabbed them for me and he sent these over along with a whole selection of sweets as well, which I'm slowly eating as I'm filming my video. So a massive thank you to uh, Richard for taking the time to send these over to me. They will be going on display with uh, my G.I. Joe collection. So uh, thanks to Richard for those. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.